John Michael Basquiat by Joseph Nunes. To start off, I'm gonna go over some info on the man himself. John Michael Basquiat was born December 22, 1960 and died on August 12, 1988. Basquiat was one of Andy Warhol's protégés that would skyrocket to the top of the art world after his overdose at the age of 27. Basquiat focused most often on the presence of racism and things he had noticed when going about his life and the clear division between the poor black section of society and how it compared to the other sections. The first piece I want to take a look at, look at is Rinso by John Michael Basquiat. It was a screen print, uh, 40 by 40 inches. Rinso gives us a look into Basquiat's mind, where he uses a popular brand of soap as a representation of mass consumer culture, and uses the associated slogan to point out the effects this culture has had on African American culture, being whitewashing action. The basis of many of Basquiat's work is undeniably rebellion against the masses, a rejection of consumer culture and mainstream media. This piece, I believe, reflects Basquiat himself Fragmented, fragmented and broken apart, similar to Basquiat's own broken and fragmented self after many years of heavy drug use and a troubled past. Many of Basquiat's works would go on to be done like this, seemingly a jumble of unrelated images and sayings, but there's undoubtedly a me method to the madness when diving into a Basquiat. This piece, Obnoxious Liberals, was also made in 1982 using acrylic, oil stick, and spray paint on canvas. The piece was 68 by 102 inches. I believe this is Basquiat's most clear and concise view regarding society. Obnoxious liberals consist of harsh strokes of red, white, and blue, juxtaposed by the dark skin of the man chained to the wall behind Uncle Sam. With the backdrop of the U.S. and the physical representation of African-American oppression, Uncle Sam ironically wears the slogan, not for sale on his chest, with liberals written over his head, mocking the very people who claim they value freedom. I believe this piece is Basquiat at his most pure, directly throwing his criticism of America back into its face, all while never forgetting to represent the culture that was such a huge part of his life. This was the end of my presentation on John Michael Basquiat.